Hi, it's Sean with Tri-State Waterworks up on a green roof. I wanted to talk a little bit about green roof irrigation. When green roofs were first um, coming popular, coming vogue, they were using drip irrigation. And it kind of made sense. Drip irrigation is very water conscious, kind of a green thing to do. And green roofs are definitely a green thing to do to help improve the environment, uh, reduce storm water runoff, and to keep the buildings a little bit cooler. But with drip irrigation, and because the soil is so porous and loose, the drip tends to go right down through it and doesn't spread out very much. So you have tubes with emitters every 6, 8, 12 inches, and the rows uh, maybe 12 inches apart. You just don't get much lateral movement, and a lot of the water just runs out into the um, downspout, into the storm sewers. So we've had much more success doing overhead irrigation either with sprays or MP rotators, which are rotary nozzles. We have found those very helpful. And for the most part, we like the MP rotators because they hand up, stand up to the wind better. And whenever you're up on top of a roof, you're definitely gonna have a lot more issues with the wind. So the, what you wanna do with watering your uh, green roof system is to water twice a week. And you have to watch how long you run it because if you run it for too long of a period, it will run right down and through with sprays. We're typically only running those six minutes, maybe four minutes, with the MP rotators, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And the sedums are tough, so they don't need a lot of water, but if you don't water them in the summertime when they, and you have a month or two without any rain whatsoever, you will have plant loss, and then the weeds take over. I don't know why the weeds don't need water, but we know how that is. Uh, what you're trying to grow needs a little bit of water and keeps it nice and healthy. So I recommend going with an overhead sprinkler system, such as sprays or MP rotators.